What is up Black Squad, Blackscape here, and before I begin the video, make sure you check out yesterday's video on Ultra Instinct Shaggy. In that video, I talk about his power and how it scales relative to Goku right now, and how powerful he is and how powerful he can become. Make sure you go ahead and check out that video. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below in the top comment because in that video, I also drop brand new merch, new merch line with UI Shaggy. I have four separate variants, so make sure you get yours today. I'm going to leave a link to that also in the description below. Go ahead and check it out. The other day, I'm minding my own business, just scrolling on Twitter when I am hit with this saucy piece of artwork right here. This is Gogeta Ultra Instinct and Vegito Ultra Ego. It's an edit by Ronaldo on Twitter. I'm gonna leave a link to his art in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and check that out. But when I saw it, I, I had a realization of what the future of Dragon Ball Super's manga could possibly be going toward. And it is what I've been talking against in previous videos because it's not the direction I want it to go, but because Vegeta hasn't lost yet and a lot of you guys are on that same ticket that Hey, Vegeta hasn't lost, Vegeta's still an Ultra Ego, and Goku has just healed himself. Well, it seems like we may actually be going toward that direction, so I kind of wanted to give you guys my best pivot as to what that future could look like for the Dragon Ball Super manga based on this artwork, because what you see right here is an edit of Gogeta and Vegito. In Vegito, you see Ultra Ego, and in Gogeta, you see Ultra Instinct. Now, it definitely makes sense because I always thought that Vegito was more Vegeta because not only of the clothing option, but the name and the attitude and, and how Vegito was a little bit serious at times and was more strategic thinking, while Gogeta was just an animal. And Gogeta has Go Goku, you know, the Go part in the very beginning. So I thought that he was far more Goku than Vegito. And I was thinking that the fusions, one part overwhelms the other, similar to Kefla, how part of her is Kale and Khalifla, but it doesn't seem like Kale's very submissive attitude is anywhere in that fusion because it's a lot of Khalifla. So if this is how fusion works out with say Ultra Ego fusing with Ultra Instinct where the dominant one would overtake and so you would have the way that it looks be that fusion instead of being like a quasi split monstrosity of both of these Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct fusing together into one look, the stronger, most dominant of the partners of the fusion would be the one that would dictate the outcome of which one you would get, at least physically looking. So Gogeta gets Ultra Instinct, Vegito gets Ultra Ego. Now, what does that mean for the future of Dragon Ball Super's manga? Well, what it means is that if this is a good scenario of what is the future to come, and a lot of people are trying to picture what that future looks like when it comes to fusion, I don't want fusion to be in Dragon Ball Super anymore, but it is a possibility that that's where they're headed because with Goku and Vegeta tag teaming someone like Granola who if we really look at it Granola has wished to be the strongest ever and if that means that the wish overrides him getting his ass kicked every single time somebody's stronger than him at least at this stage of the game say if Vegeta was stronger than him but the wish counteracted it so now he is stronger then that is something just by wish logic I'm willing to accept and that could honestly be a possibility Granola has has been shown to be able to use other abilities that other characters are using in Dragon Ball such as destruction of rocks with telekinesis from Frieza. He's able to use Moro style abilities by using the key from the planet as an attack mechanism. So Granola really has a lot of room where he's just been growing and growing and growing and since he only has three years left as a time limit I thought it was really weird that they gave him that long seeing as how it doesn't seem like this arc is going to go three years, in three years time you're going and pushing toward that Dragon Ball Super superhero territory. So if they give him three years, why do they give him three years? Well, one of the possibilities is that Granola is going to try to sacrifice the rest of the time to get even stronger and maybe at that point be so strong that even Goku and Vegito going at him together isn't enough. Maybe he gets strong enough where he can start using Ultra Instinct. Maybe those abilities are going to be access to him because he is essentially amalgamation of a wish. That could be a possibility or it could be that Granola defeats Goku and Vegeta 
right here and now and we have a three year time skip where granola leaves them and goku and vegeta go train or a couple year time skip where they go train and then you catch up with granola because granola after he defeats goku and vegeta he's not trying to destroy their planet he's not trying to destroy this planet he's trying to get after frieza now after he defeats frieza will he try to eradicate the rest of the saiyans because his people were eradicated i don't know at that point i don't know at which point he's being corrupted by by rage by vengeance by by a sense of him being superior to everybody maybe he starts transforming into a villain because of the wish because it goes to his head and he wants to take out the children of goku and vegeta like those are really interesting questions we have to ask but i think we are all 100% here that Goku and Vegeta more than likely are not going to defeat Granola together and and Vegeta's definitely not going to do it by himself so what does that leave? That probably leaves a fusion here in probably the next few chapters something that I feel like Dragon Ball Super has been hinting that they don't want to do anymore but it's always an open option seeing as how they both know how to do the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Super so there would really be no hindrance besides Vegeta not wanting to do it to do the fusion dance and I could totally see them doing the fusion dance at some point trying to become a stronger a stronger opponent so they do the fusion dance they become Gogeta Gogeta's ultra instinct because the Goku part overpowers the Vegeta part but yet he still has access to some ultra ego abilities that would probably be the best way to do it I don't like the sense of a fusion between both characters aesthetically like having the ultra ego look combined with ultra instinct I think that that looks kind of messy and personally for me I don't want to see Gogeta at all in this I want Goku to become stronger through Ultra Instinct or whatever the case might be and I definitely want to see what's next stage of Ultra Ego Granola I think that he is definitely going to be around for a while I think that if anything stops Granola it's going to be his own demise his own death or if he stops beating Goku and Vegeta's ass, it's because he finds out that the heaters have betrayed him, which, depending on what their wish is, it could really be something that could come up against Granola. Hopefully it's not another I want to be the strongest person in the universe wish, but I thought all these thoughts like randomly when I saw this piece of artwork, and there's a lot deeper connections that we have to go into when it comes to what is going on with Granola's wish and how long he has left to live, how long is his manga gonna go, how long is this fight with Goku and Vegeta gonna go, very interesting stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think is the future, do you guys want to see Gogeta back and if you guys see Gogeta back do you want him to be a fusion above Ultra Ego or Instinct or do you want Instinct to take priority in that fusion? Let me know in the comments below, this is going to be Blackscape signing off, take care guys. Subscribe for more content.